This just in, all the way from Japan, I have another stationery order from one of my favorite stationery shops. It's called Cute Things from Japan. I've done a number of unboxings before and we're doing another one today because my favorite artist put out another collaboration with Cute Things from Japan and anytime Eric Small Things does that, I have to get it, which then I have to then spend over $100 so that I can get free shipping from Japan because you know, who doesn't love stationery, right? And who doesn't love free shipping? And the more you get, the freer the shipping is, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and unbox everything today and take a look. So instead of using packing peanuts or things like that, they always stuff some extra stuff in. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Eric Small Things wrapping paper inside of here. Like I know that they're using it for like, to keep my other package safe, <laughs> which, <laughs> is also covered in Eric's small things wrapping paper as well. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these. I did see something the other day where someone turned these into like an envelope. And so I'm thinking about maybe trying that in the future. Um, but I'm just gonna keep all my Eric small things wrapping paper and just keep it all together. So let's go ahead and unwrap and see how everything looks. I'm such a fan of the way that they wrap their packaging. It's always super nice. So let's take a look at Happy Mail. We're gonna do everything that we can to protect the paper as we're unwrapping it. Again, I have big ideas for things that I want to do with this paper. All right, the first thing that we have to look at is going to be my Eric Small thing, his little tin that they got here. This was something that Erico had had at a special showing in Japan and Eric Small Things and Cute Things from Japan kind of worked together to bring those to the store to get. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I just love the way that Eric Small Things design look. I feel like it's very much within my aesthetic. I really love it. It's you know not leaning any certain way. It's just fun stationary stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up and see everything that's inside. So the first thing that we have here are two washi tapes. So while I'm not usually a huge fan of washi tape, I am a big fan of Eric Small Things washi tape. So this has a few different designs on here. Some of these actually are part of stamp sets that she has or some self inking ones or wood block ones I've seen before. So this is pretty exciting. I'm a big fan of these. I was also excited to see this one here too because it has a bunch of like little like tickets on it. Um, and these are easy and fun. You can cut these out and put them inside of your journal. Um, just run them down your page. I feel like I have a lot of opportunity with these here. Also inside of the tin, we have some sticker sheets here. This one is just a duplicate of what is on the top of the tin here. So a lot of fun stationary items. So a fun one too, some more just stickers. I definitely will use these inside of my bullet journal. I, I love them so much. And then the other thing that's in here are, they call them origami papers. So you could certainly use these for origami. Um, I'm actually gonna use them, I think, to kind of cut out or use inside of my bullet journal, maybe similar to the washi tape or stickers. A lot of really fun designs. So big fan of this, excited to start using more of these inside of my bullet journal and planners. I have a lot of different options that I can do with these for sure. All right, next thing we got are some stamps. So I actually have two different types of stamps. One is an individual wood block, says nice day on it, a little dress shirt and a pen, very much represents me. And then we also have this small little box set of wood block stamps as well. This one I like, super nice design. I love having these uh, just to kind of stamp inside of my journal. And then we'll go ahead and open this one up and you're gonna see a lot of the different items like what's on the front of this box. So like cartridges, my favorite ink, going with a fountain pen look. A little bit more holiday themed, have a nice holiday, uh, but I really like the pencils and the paper and things on this stamp over here. The nice day, nice little like botanical and ink bottle. And then we also have a little stationery shop and a lighthouse in the background. It just says, how are you? So this one over here is one that I got as a part of that last collection. This is my new one, so super excited to have these now. The next thing we're gonna check out are going to be some more Deco Rush tapes. I love these because these work out similar to like a washi tape or like a sticker, but all you do is you just run these across your paper. You can do one at a time and it lays it down on the page. I actually started my collection of these from a different stationery shop uh, where I was introduced to these for the first time. So I grabbed a few of them that I have here. So now to add to the collection, we have three more. I have one that's a small little book, one that's like a pointer finger to kind of talk about like, hey, you gotta look here, this is important. And then I had to get the one that had coffee on it as well. So let's take a look at these real quick and see what they look like on the page. I will say that I always have a hard time remembering which way these go to pull them out, but I just noticed that on the top here, there is like a small little area for your finger to go. And then on the bottom, there's like an arrow kind of pointing down. So you wanna have that arrow facing down. You can pull open the tip of this here, finger on this, and then you can pull it across your page.
And then once you're done, all you have to do is just fold these up so none of them accidentally come out, and then you're good to go. The next thing I got was some more flake stickers. These are cool because they're the perfect mix between washi and a sticker, because that's exactly what they are, kind of two things put together. This one here is going to be the coffee break one. I really like this one a lot, just for some of the stickers and things that are inside of here. We're gonna get a few different ones here. We've got some coffee containers, a little coffee truck, tea, latte, coffee cups, coffee pours. It's kind of a little bit of everything. All right, this next one are some more stamps. I've had my eye on this collection for a very long time. I think you're gonna really love the way that these look. I'm always looking for some interesting new type of stamps that I can use inside of my bullet journal. This one here is called Forest Volume 2. So this is actually going to have a bunch of beautiful trees on it, which I definitely think would be a fun kind of theme or something like that for the week. What I also love about these is that there's five of them. That way I can put for one for each of the days of the week and create some really just interesting looking headers with these stamps, nice and easy. The next thing that I had to get were some of these super fun notebooks. So this is another one of the collaborations between Eric Small Things and Cute Things from Japan. I actually got them uh, in a smaller version of these not long ago with one of my last orders. Um, kind of a very special uh, collaboration that they had going on. So I had to grab this nice little bundle. And then when I was ordering and I was looking through everything, I needed to, you know, hit my $100 total to get free shipping, I saw these in the store and I thought, these are great. While I don't necessarily need another bullet journal, I've actually been using these for stamps, writing samples, swatching, all kinds of fun things. So this is the original size that I got of these, so this is a much larger. What I think is really cool about them too is it just has super nice paper. It's also grid, so a little bit different than my normal bullet journal, which I can always appreciate. No number of pages, nothing like that. Again, just a cool sketchbook, using this for ink swatches, writing samples, things along that line. All right, the last thing that we're gonna check out, so inside of all of the packages from Cute Things from Japan, there's usually some type of like paperwork. Um, sometimes they throw in some extra stickers or fun things like that, so let's go ahead and see what's inside of our goodies. I'm also a bit of a weirdo. I like to keep and hold on to these envelopes too. I just think they're really nice. Uh, this is kind of the design that I wanna do with the Eric Small Things wrapping paper, something kind of similar to this to put things inside of. So this one here is gonna talk all about the notebook that I got that was a collaboration with Cute Things from Japan and Eric Small Things. Open it up, ooh, we've got a little sticker inside of here. So this is just talking about everything that's going on with this book, what it is, how you can use them, the history of the notebooks themselves. This is also going to be a story behind the notebook. Again, just talking about the history of it, how it's used and everything else, which I always really appreciate. So we'll read through that a little bit later. I guess I got two of these since I got two notebooks. All right, now it's time for the goodie bin. This one always has some fun stuff inside of it. There's something jingling inside of here. Ooh. Look how cool that is. Got ourselves a lucky rabbit over here. Coin and a bell. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. We've got uh, little wreath stickers here. Oh, I had these already. I love these, these are so nice. So these are like monochrome or like kind of color themed stickers that we have. We also got some more little origami papers. I gave some of these to my daughter last time. She really liked them. And then also just some more documentation around cute things from Japan and um, their products and kind of how they're putting things together. So really nice. So reading a little bit about this little charm that we got inside of this, it's actually pretty neat and pretty cool. So it is called a neck suit. Uh, it's a rabbit design because 2023 is year of the rabbit. So a little rabbit on the front and then also that's Mount Fuji in the back, which is lucky in Japan, which is pretty neat. And the little coin that's on here is a Japanese yen. It also talks about the right name or pronunciation of five yen, which is going, which also is the same word for fate or good luck. I love ordering things from cute things from Japan. The name always throws people off because they're always like, wait, what, what are you, cute things, what? But it is fantastic. I don't have any affiliation with them. I don't have any discount codes or anything like that. I'm honestly just a huge stationary fan and just absolutely love them so much. Because they carry so much Eric Small things, that's why I order again from them a lot. It's just always like my go-to spot. Um, it just makes me so happy. I have so much Eric Small things. I mean, soon my bullet journal and planners are just gonna be all Eric all the time. So you know what, and that's totally okay. Totally my style, you know, when you find something, you become like a big fan fanatic about it. You have a lot of good times, right? So I got a lot of stuff to play with, a lot of stuff to organize. I gotta like really rethink my whole stamp collection. You know, I've been keeping stuff in the background over here for a while, but I have to come up with like a new plan. I have more stuff now, so it's gonna be some fun. You'll see me using more of this inside of my bullet journal and definitely in my weekly plan 
have with me too, so make sure you check those out. I'll actually put them in a video right here for you if you wanna check out how I set up my weekly plan with me is using the stationery along with a minimalist and functional approach to a journal. It's how I roll. It's always fun hanging out with you. I'll talk to you very soon. Happy planning.